Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for watching, tuning in, coming back, all that stuff. I really appreciate it, and I don't know why I do all this stuff with my hands, but I do. I kind of talk with my hands. And you think I'm bad, my sister, she's... Anyway, this isn't about my sister. This is about Luminar 3 with libraries, and specifically, still doing the hand thing here, um, I'm talking about using uh, or importing photos from photos. So if you're a Windows user, like, sorry, I guess. Uh, sorry, I, I don't have a... Uh, is there a photos equivalent in Windows? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter for this video, sorry to say. But there's a lot of Mac users out there and you guys are using the Photos app. And I think um, a lot of people, I've got so many questions and all these comments in my last couple of videos, which if you haven't seen the last two about Luminar 3 with libraries, check them out. But people are asking me, hey, how do I get my library out of Photos and get it into Luminar 3 with libraries? Um, and, you know, in the beginning, I was like, oh, you just add a folder uh, because I hadn't done it. And that's not actually correct. Um, and I've clarified this in comments and, and instructions when people are asking me, but I want to make a video about it. So let's launch into that right now. Okay, so here I am in my Luminar 3 with libraries uh, interface. I'm in all photos, which you've seen. As you know, it sorts them by year. It sorts them by recently added. It sorts them by recently edited. So it has all this kind of cool organization stuff which I'm not really going into here. Yeah, I also have albums, uh, and this has changed. I took an album out that I didn't really need, uh, a bunch of Las Vegas picks. But anyway, uh, so this is my all photos, and I've got it organized by capture time. I've had a couple of questions about this, so I'm kind of doing a couple of highlights here. I've had it, uh, you can arrange by all these different sort of things. Uh, you can also show it based on favorites or star rating or, you know, things like that. So. Here's the deal, like when you want to add photos, what you do is you come over here and you say, hey, plus folder, right? And you say plus, and you go find a folder, and then you click it, and you add folder, and it sticks it in. And that's how you do it with folders. However, the thing with photos is, um, and if you're a Mac user, you know this, um, and if you were an Aperture user, it's the same thing, which is the way Apple packages uh, photos, and I think iPhoto before that, um, and Aperture is, it's a package. And so the folder structure and the organizational structure is completely hidden from the user. Um, you don't really have a way to see that easily. And I, I used Aperture for years. Uh, once Apple, Apple announced that they were discontinuing development, I jumped ship. So that was, I don't know, four or five years ago, I moved over to Lightroom, maybe four, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter how many years ago, but anyway. Um, I left it behind. There are people that still have photos in Aperture. There are people that still have iPhoto. Um, both of those are basically dead products. And so I highly encourage you to consider getting your photos out of those applications. Um, even if you're not going to use Luminar 3 libraries, at some point your OS is no longer going to support those apps, I suspect, and you're going to be stuck. So I, I think it's kind of urgent. That's your decision. I don't know. Um, but uh, I would be nervous. Let me put it that way. However, if you're on photos, my suspicion is this can be around for a while, um, probably a long time, because that's kind of their newest iteration. It kind of took the best of iPhoto and some stuff out of Aperture and turned it into photos. Anyway, I'm yapping. So how do you get photos out of there? Well, you would think you would just add a folder and then click Add Folder. But if you go on here and you say, well, where are my pictures that are in photos? Well, hey, let's try pictures. Well, there's my photo library, your photos library, but guess what? It's grayed out, as you can see. I got my Lightroom library, I've got my Luminar catalog, and you've got history files here, all the state files that are created when you edit, etc. But photos library, library is grayed out. So you don't get to it by pictures. And that also means you don't get to it by saying plus and add folder. There's only one way to get your uh, photos information, photos, God, this is going to get confusing. Get your photos from Photos, the app, into Luminar. And that's with the import command. So you go in the upper left corner, you say file, and you say import images. And so uh, here we go. Now I'm in the same place. I'm going to make this folder a little bit bigger, or this, uh, this screen here. I'm in the same place. Pictures and Photos library is grayed out. Well, hey, Jim, didn't you just say I could do this? What's the deal, man? Well, here's the deal. So if you do that, scroll down and keep scrolling and keep scrolling. You get down to where it says media. And there's this little thing called Photos. You click on that, and hey, look at that. I'm in my Photos library, and that's where it is. So on that sidebar, or whatever you call it, keep scrolling down until you get to Media, and that's and you'll find Photos. But that's only if you this, use the upper left corner, File and Import, right? That's how you do it. So now I've got my Photos library. And let me show you my Photos library just for a minute. This is a total detour. As you can see, my All Photos 
13,524 photos. Most of these are iPhone shots I've accumulated over the years. I keep my iPhone photos in photos, in the Photos app. I don't really use it for much of anything else. Um, and that's because I use Lightroom for my primary organization and all my raw files for my Sony and Panasonic cameras go straight into Lightroom. I don't really put it in photos, it's just iPhone shots. So you can see stuff with the family where we're snowbound, my daughter and I, my daughter again, I take a lot of pictures of my daughter. My iPhone, frankly, it's a great camera for quick snaps. I got videos where I've done some vlogs, whatever. I'm not gonna bore you with all that crap. Uh, anyway, that's what you're seeing here, right? So you can go in here and you can say, well, what do I wanna do? Well, I wanna import some images. Well, where do you wanna import them? So you look at import two, and I've got my three folders, and if you look over here, I've got finished pics, I've got loop 360 bridge, and test pics. Same thing that's showing up here. Well, I don't wanna import them there, so here's what I do. I come over here first, um, and I go to my desktop, which, by the way, is a total mess. Uh, well, not a total mess, but it's kind of a mess. Um, and I added a folder called Photos, right? And I got three folder uh, photos in it. Let me just drag those out of here, trash them. Um, and in fact, I'll just trash this folder and I'll start over. So, you know, control, click, new folder. I'm gonna call it Photos. Boom, there it is. You saw me just create it. I'm now gonna go back to Luminar 3 and I'm gonna say add a folder. I'm gonna say plus and now there's Photos. There's nothing in it because I haven't added anything. I'm gonna say add folder. I've got a folder now called Photos, which are gonna be, it's kind of ridiculously, uh, the naming and the, this is getting meta as they say, right? Anyway, so I'm gonna stick Photos from the Photos app in a folder called Photos, which is for my photos from Photos. Uh, you might need to get a drink. Um, okay, so here we go. So, um, uh, where am I? Hello, Photos, I minimized it. So there's my photos. I've got all these photos that I took with my iPhone. So let me go back to Luminar 3. Import command, file, import images. Okay, don't look at your uh, pictures here. Remember, pictures doesn't work. Go to the bottom and go to photos. And here we go. Now I'm looking at, uh, not Luminar, I'm looking at my photos app and all my iPhone shots that are in there. I got a picture of a parking meter at the airport so I can keep track of where I parked. Lots of pictures of my dog. She's cute, I can't help it. So picture of my dog, right? Uh, I won't give that photo of my daughter, that's kind of funny. A picture of my beer, so command. Um, a picture of some graffiti, right? Um, you can now, I've highlighted them all with using the command uh, key, and I'm gonna put them in photos, and I'm gonna say import to folder, and boom, I've got now three photos from the Photos app in my folder called Photos in Luminar 3. Uh, this is gonna get crazy. My all photos will include them. There's uh, my dog Zoe, there's the graffiti, there's the beer. If I go in photos, you can see them, right? There's Willie Nelson, a mural downtown Austin. There's a beer and there's my dog, right? So there they are, that's how you do it. I'm not gonna import a bunch because it'll take way too long, but I do wanna show you something else. Let me go to the Photos app. Let me show you, I dragged a raw file in there and it's this raw file. Now this is a raw file from this Loop360 Bridge uh, shoot, right? So let me get up here and show you these, right? So you can kind of see, I, had, I took a bunch of long exposures. One of them I dropped in here, and to click on the I button, you will see, if you look at the highlighted uh, portion here, it's the DSC, what, whatever, .arw. That is a raw file taken with my Sony camera. So it's a raw file that I put in photos, right? I'm gonna go import that photo into this photos album, right? So remember, file, import images, scroll to the bottom, find photos, and luckily it's the last photo that I've imported into, I, uh, not iPhoto, into the photos app. So it's right there at the bottom. I'm gonna click photos, I'm gonna import to folder, and now I've got four photos, and here it is, right? The reason I wanted to show you this is look at the file name. It's a JPEG, right? Let me go to edit, I'm sorry, let me go to info. There's the file, oops, I don't wanna move the app around. There's the file name, it is a JPEG. If you remember, in photos, information, it's a raw file. You're not gonna be able to take your raw files from photos and import them to Luminar 3. That's Apple's thing, it has nothing to do with how Luminar 3 is built, so before you get up in arms about Skyloom messing something up, it's not their fault. It has to do with the OS, or something to do with Apple, I don't really know, but I asked them about it and they said, hey, that's on Apple. I believe it, 
So um, that's that. So here's what I recommend. If you're using iPhoto or if you're using Aperture and you have raw files in them, in fact, if you have any photos in iPhoto or Aperture, I recommend getting those guys exporting. And so how do you do that? Well, I don't know. I don't have iPhoto or Aperture anymore because I'm long past that. But if I'm, I'm in here and let, let me just take, uh, here's a raw file, also a raw file. It's a DNG. I shot a raw file with my iPhone. Um, but if I want to export this raw file, I'll say file, export, and instead of one photo, I'll say one unmodified original. So I'll export that unmodified original to my desktop and then I'll basically just create a folder and I'll start sticking them all in there and then I can take that folder and suck it into Luminar 3. That's how you get your raw files. I recommend doing the same in iPhoto or Aperture and frankly if you're on either one of those apps, um, you know, it's your call, it's your stuff, but I have to imagine at some point your OS is going to quit supporting those apps. I recommend getting your photos out of those two apps like ASAP. And if you're looking to move from photos to Luminar 3 for organizational purposes, um, and you have raw files, if you just have JPEGs, it'll suck them over great, as you saw. If you have raw files, I recommend exporting them, setting up a folder structure, and then importing them into the library, just as you do with any other raw files here by, um, you know, let me go back up to my uh, full menu, of my all photos. Um, I would just go, you know, plus, and then go find whatever the folder name is and add them that way. Um, let's see. Uh, that's it, really. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? A couple other things. When you're doing the file import images, also note, remember, all the way down to the bottom, go to photos. When you're here, note that uh, this little triangle, you can click that in photos and you can go into moments and you can pick out all these dates going back to 2011. You know, hey, I was in Vegas. You know, hey, I was in uh, Vegas again, apparently. Hey, I was in El Segundo in LA. I was in New Mexico. I was in Dublin and Glasgow, right? So it's organizing uh, by that. You can drag this to get those out of the way, right? So you can see all your different moments, right? That it, the phone uh, is capturing. You can go to years or collections or whatever it is, right? So you can just suck those in uh, and set up folder structures for that if you like. So just something to keep in mind. But the, the key thing for this video is number one, raw files are not going to come over automatically. You got to export them from photos, set them up in a folder structure and then import them uh, based on the folder structure that you do here by saying plus and add folder, right? Uh, and number two, to get your uh, photos from photos over to Luminar is say file, import images, and then go scroll to the bottom there, which is here at the bottom and go to photos and then you'll find your photos app. Also, if you have Aperture, it'll show up here. iPhoto, I've been told it's not compatible. So again, I think you need to export your photos and get them out of that app. That's my two cents. You do what you need to do. And that's it, my friends. Lots of questions about photos. A lot of you have used it for basic organization. Keep in mind, if you have keywords and things like that, those are not going to come over because keywords are not currently supported in photos. So keep that in mind. Could be a big deal. It is going to be supported in Luminar at that point. Will they import from photos to Luminar with keywords? I don't know. Um, keywords and all that stuff is on the roadmap, which I shared in a previous video. Hopefully it's coming soon. We'll find out. But that's how you get photos from the Photos app to Luminar 3. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care, my friends. See you soon and adios.